is October 13th, 2018. It is 39 degrees outside. And uh, it's what, a quarter to 10? We're just about in the morning. And we are here at Finley State Park. Uh, it's real pretty out. The leaves are starting to turn and a lot of people out camping for the last hoorah before it uh, gets cold here. A few days ago it was about 70 degrees and then it just switched like a light. Now it's temperatures has dropped dramatically. But we're here, we're gonna do the uh, Buckeye Trail, um, part of Finley. We're at the trailhead over here by the, there's Bear Spray Fill right there. <laughs> um, and there's where you come in to camp. So we're pretty much right at the beginning and here is the trailhead behind me. So we're gonna do about how many miles? Eight miles. Eight miles to point six from Finley State Park. We will end at Spencer Lake. So we'll check in in a few and see you on a trail. Here we are on the trail. Oh, he's coming over here. I think he wants to be on YouTube really bad. Hi, guy. Oh, he's real curious. All right, I'm going to keep going, buddy. This is an ash tree, and there used to be six billion of them in Ohio. It was one of the most common trees, and about ten years ago, an insect called the emerald ash borer invaded the state. Uh, the entire eastern United States, and what it did is it laid its eggs on the bark, and the the larvae would go under the bark and eat all these little trails that you see, eventually killing the tree. So, so this now, tree's dead. This tree's dead. There's not too many live ash trees anymore in Ohio. Then over there, I see a little maple tree that uh, the deer have been rubbing up pretty good. You can see where they. Uh, around this area, am I right? Was around this area? Well, we were here last weekend camping, and there's a local who lives over on Pitts Road, which is just to the west of here, north and west, a couple miles. Uh -huh. And she claims she's got horses, and the horses were making funny sounds, so she went out back, and there was a bear with a cub. This was two weeks ago. A bear with a cub? Yep, over on Pitts Road, a couple miles away. Man. Isn't that when they're uh, when you got to be the most cautious? Is when a, a mother's with her cub. Yes. <laughs> you know, because she could be protected. But I'm bear sprayless today. So. Yeah, hey, bear spray. There we go. <laughs> See, there's a reason why he has his trail name bear spray fill right there. Actually, it's been it poured last night and into this morning, uh, and it's actually not that bad. The trail conditions. It's um, not muddy. So, yeah, we'll check in, Alex. Out. Right here at uh, location S, which is right here, okay, and we started over down here by where you come in. We've walked over here, and we are going to head to P and then over to the Thorn Mountain Bike Trail. To the end, to the end, would you follow me? Outside of park. So soon we're gonna be to the road walking. We'll see how this goes and see where it 
The Buck Trail takes us on our next adventure. And we're at <laughs> location R, which is right there. And there's Pratt Road. Good deal. Here we are coming out to the road now. Where the trail ends. Here's our place. Here we go. Pratt Road. And which direction are we going? We're going east on Pratt Road, and there is the trail where we just popped out on. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I have a friend. He's probably gonna stay out, he's giving up, huh? It's nice meeting you. But, uh, Bill has, what are they, Hoka's? Hoka one ones. Ho Hoka one ones? So, I mean, believe it or not, I did used to jog a little bit, and uh, I would get shin splints really bad. So I heard about these from hiking, and uh, bought a pair, and they're kind of clunky and thick, but they, uh, I don't get shin splints anymore. No more shin splints ever since you got those Hoka 1-1s. Yep, so I think it, uh, they're, worth, they're worth getting. All right. Um, get yourself a pair of Hoka ones. They seem to be working for bear spray. Feel pretty good, so I won't reveal his age, but he's still in his twenties, and they're working great for him. Guys, okay, so we have made it to Western Road, and we will be on here for about a mile, uh, and then we will be hitting. What's the next road, Phil? Bursley. So we will check in when we hit Bursley, okay? <laughs> We're not gonna forget that road. That's what we gotta remember is all these roads we gotta turn on because that's what the Buckeye Trail is. And I think that's uh, what deters people from trying this. So road walking really isn't that bad. I really am actually kind of enjoying it. It's not hurting my feet. So it's actually pretty nice to be honest. And there has been no traffic out here. I'm actually here in my first vehicle right now behind me. That's the first car we've seen and we've been out here for about a good, I'd say 20 minutes. So, there you go. Gigantic oak tree. That's gotta be four feet wide at least. Yeah. There's a perspective of just how big the trunk is. I think I'm going to start calling Phil the next Bill Bryson. Yeah. Bursley Road now. Okay, we are at Bursley Road. Mm -hmm. And we're at three? No, we're between three and four, but. Oh, okay, I see. But our destination's here. We got a ways to go. All right, well, we better get the roof in it. Yep. They're just staring at you and you're staring right back at them. <laughs> Bye guys. Good seeing you. And now we are going left. 
which is north. We were on Hunter. Uh, we were on that for not even maybe an eighth of a mile. You actually probably see where we turned back there over by the house. And we are at Spencer Mills. And this is going to take us all the way to Spencer Lake, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Haven't seen anything too out of the ordinary. Hopefully we will, other than those cows staring at us. A lot of soybeans. Yep. See that? A lot of soybeans. We are definitely in farm country. And it's giving me a lot of crop. <laughs> Rivers Corners and Spencer. And we are going left, which is north. Towards Spencer Lake. And we are actually kind of running out of time because we're trying to finish this and get to Spencer Lake before the kids have trick-or-treating at Finley, which starts at 2 o'clock. And it is a quarter to one right now. And we have a little over a mile left. And we're cutting it pretty close, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, we have made it to the Spencer Wildlife Area. So we're just about to the lake. We speed this up to the end. Hey guys, we made it here to Spencer Lake. I did a little over eight miles, so that's pretty good, I'd say. Nine miles last week at the uh, Mohegan meetup, and now just under nine, about eight and a half over here this weekend at Finley to Spencer. So next time you're out here, look out for the blue blazes. Wanted to thank Bear Spray Phil for putting this trip together. Uh, he pretty much navigated the whole thing, so wanted to thank him for that. Huge shout out to him and we'll see you guys on the next adventure and that's about it all right don't forget to subscribe to my channel kindle adventures and thanks again guys for watching hey buddy